One of these days, the cranes are going to slip. And say something that's going to give me all the evidence I need to blow the lid clean off. And then I'll be able to prove that the cranes are responsible for my father's disappearance. Which crane do you think it'll be? Where's my aunt? She's sleeping. Look, don't disturb your aunt, Ethan. She's had a pretty traumatic evening and she can use a rest, all right? And if you would have done your job and kept her safe, none of this would have happened. And what were you thinking of? Letting her go down to the wharf by herself? Don't blame Luis. Look, you are supposed to be her bodyguard. You're responsible for her life. Look, if you want to yell at someone, yell at me, okay? I'm the one that took Sheridan down to the wharf. Luis had nothing to do with it. I have asked Chief Bennett over and over again to sign more protection for her. And he lets an amateur guard her? All right, look, pal, for your information, this amateur took a bullet for your Aunt Sheridan. I heard. And I'm grateful for that. But what was she doing at the wharf in the first place? Look, I mean, someone tries to shoot her, and she ends up having to kill him to save your neck, Luis. You're way out of line. I'm out of line? You said yourself she's traumatized, and I will never forgive you if she starts having the... Having what? You know, she had a pretty serious reaction to seeing that corpse. Why? Did she have a similar experience? What, did she, did she see another dead body in the past? What is it, Ethan? I'm going to check on Sheridan, make sure she's all right. Typical Crane. Starts coming in here, throwing his weight around. No, I think he's worried about his aunt, Louise. Well, I think it has to do with more than what happened tonight. Much more. What's he covering? What are you getting at? Sheridan's not in a room. What? She has to be. Well, she isn't. Well, where could she have gone? Oh, no. What, do you know where she went? After having killed that man, there's only one place she could be. Come on. And there she is. I knew it. Yeah, you did. You know exactly where to find her. Sheridan, why'd you run out of the cottage? What? I didn't hear that. Blood on the body. On my hands. I did it! I killed him! Who, Sheridan? Who'd you kill? Huh? The shooter? It's okay, Sheridan. We're gonna go back to the cottage. Okay? Hold on a second. You keep staring at the floor, Sheridan. Why? You see blood on the floor? Look, that's enough, Luis. What is it, Sheridan? Why are you so upset? What do you see on the floor? Damn it, Luis, I said that's enough. Can't you see the state she's in? The bloody sheet. Look, I'm taking her back to the cottage. Of course. His blood is on my hand. Well, whose blood, Sheridan? The corpse from the alley? Look, stop this, Luis. And can't you see she's sleepwalking? Sleepwalking? Why would she come here in her sleep, Ethan? Just let it go, Louise. Sheridan, can you hear me? Why are you staring at the floor like you're seeing something? What is it, Sheridan? That was clumsy. What happened? Ethan busted a vase. What am I doing here? Well, you were sleepwalking. Talking about a bloody corpse and blood on your hands, and you were staring at the floor like you were seeing something there. Now, what's going on, Sheridan? Damn it, Luis, I won't let you do that. I won't let you question her. Come on, Sheridan. What the hell is going on? What are you looking for? I'm not sure. Sheridan was staring at this spot on the floor. Why do you think she came in here in her sleep? 
I don't know, maybe she was having a bad dream about killing the shooter and uh, didn't know where she was going and ended up here. Could be. Then why was Ethan so hot to get her out of here before I could question her? Because Sheridan was in bad shape. He was worried about her. Uh-uh. I think there's something more to it than that, Hank. Oh, Luis, you are way off. Okay? I mean, Sheridan shot a man tonight. She was having a reaction. Who wouldn't? No, well, if it was anyone else, I'd agree with you. Sheridan's a crane. You never know where they're coming from. You hear that? Hear what? It's like you can almost hear the secrets in this room. Cranes are full of secrets. They're always plotting, getting back at their enemies, real and imagined. You know, maybe that's what happened to my father. Maybe he got too close to the crane secrets and they had to get rid of them. That's why I don't want Teresa getting involved with Ethan. He acts like a choir boy, but underneath he's a guard dog. You saw that tonight. You saw how he raced to be with Sheridan when he heard about the shooting? Why? Because he's her nephew. He was worried about her. Now well, maybe he was worried she'd blur out the truth. What truth? So I'm gonna find out, Hank. Sheridan, you don't have to answer any of his questions. You don't have to talk to him at all. It's okay, Ethan. I don't mind. Are you sure? Yeah. Good. Now, why don't you start by telling me why you sleepwalked all the way over to the main house? Because I had just killed a man. I was having a dream about it and seeing that bloody sheet over him in the alley. And when you found me in the main house, I had no idea where I was. How could you? You were having a nightmare. Uh, let her tell it, okay? There's nothing else to tell. Ethan's right. I, I was just having a terrible dream about the shooting. All the blood. Satisfied? Uh, well, actually, a couple of things don't add up. Listen, Louise. Um, I think we should call it a night. Um, Sheridan's probably exhausted, so... Yes, I am. All I want to do is get back in bed. You get a good night's rest, and I'll stop by in the morning. So, uh, Ethan, now why were you so certain that Sheridan would be in the main house? I wasn't certain. I just thought she was looking for me to comfort her. Really? You know, none of this would have happened if you would have done your job. Mm. Don't blame Louise. Chief Bennett's going to get what's coming to him, too. Mm. The police board will see to that. But in the meantime, this drug cartel is still after Sheridan, and that's your responsibility. You're supposed to protect her, so make sure you do. Or else. Is that a threat, Ethan? It's a warning. Huh. Excuse me. I think you uh, were right about that choir boy thing. I got a gut feeling that Sheridan wasn't just having nightmares about the shooting. For a long time, I've had the feeling that she's been hiding something. Like what? Oh, well, I don't know. Something about her past. Ethan knows what it is. He was worried about her, that's all. Oh. Ethan knew that Sheridan would react the way she did from the shooting. He knew that she would be up at the main house. Well, he said that he thought that she was looking for him. Hank. Ethan's a crane. He'll say anything. Come on, he's covering something up. That's why he was so protective of her. He was afraid that she was going to blurt something out when she was sleepwalking. Well, what is it? What? What's that thing? That's the bullet I dug out of this wall. Right here? Like I said, Hank, someone fired a gun in here once. 
You think it was Sheridan? I don't know. Yet. It's all starting to take shape. Something happened in Sheridan's past. Whatever it was, her family's trying desperately to keep a lid on it. We all have secrets, Louise. Yeah. But Sheridan's was triggered by killing the shooter. I see in the body under the bloody sheet. So what I'm thinking is, is it possible there was another time when Sheridan saw a body under a bloody sheet? 